just start you then, I guess, with the one I just finished with Brian. The coaches came to you and said, you know, we're going to play some really big games in December, and so we need to <clears throat> keep some guys out and kind of go into a shell against Toledo. Well, what would your reaction be? Uh, we don't settle. Um, we haven't settled all year. I think getting that showed with our defense, number one, when, uh, just like Sadie said, you know, they weren't playing their best football at the beginning of the year, and then they uh, they came back, and now they're starting to form a lot better into a unit. So, I mean, that would be my words to them. We don't settle, and those are Coach Babers' it's famous words. Now, can you talk a little bit about where the sophomore line is right now? I guess you guys have had different multiple running backs come in and have consecutive, like, 100 uh, yard rushing games. Can you just talk about where the offensive line is right now? Um, right now, I feel like we're, we're really uh, well meshed as a unit. Um, we got five, six, seven guys that, that we know we can count on for sure in there. And uh, I mean, right now, we're just playing physical football, I believe. I believe that we want it on our back ever since that Western game. We've wanted to run the ball more and more, and uh, we've gotten the opportunity, and we've shown that we could do it. Will you kind of piggyback that with showing that you can do it with different running backs? I mean, if you had Trav back there, then people would say, oh, well, yeah, it's an all-mac back. But it's it's been other guys carrying the load besides him. Oh, yeah, and we knew we, we, knew we had the talent. And then uh, with Box, everyone knew. And Andre, I think he was the sleeper that nobody knew about. But we knew he was a hard runner. He's a... Uh, He's probably our hardest runner downhill other than Chris Pullman when you put him in there. I mean, it's been exciting to watch all of them uh, get their carries and their, their uh, fame in the spotlight. Does it uh, bother you at all that him beat these guys? Beating Toledo? Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, this isn't a business game. This is a personal game. I mean, and that's what rivalries are. Hard to put your finger on why Toledo's had the upper hand as of late. I mean, any rhyme or reason? I mean, your guess is as good as mine. Well, I mean, we go out, we play hard. They just they walk away with it. Yeah. But we got to find a way to, to play a complete game versus them, finish the uh, finish it out, and walk out on top. What do you remember, Alex, from the Chiefs game with the team? Uh, I remember I blinked and they were up. I went to 21 nothing, and then um, remember we came back and we had a, uh, a late late in the game we had a false start down here in this close end zone, and that cost us uh, seven. And I just remember walking off the field with the disappointment, and then wanting them. And, and once we clinched the MAC, we wanted them again so bad. But I mean, it didn't fall that way. We got NIU, and man, they're fine with that. But we wanted another shot at them. We didn't get it. It's just it's a, it's a taste that stays in your mouth for the whole year. And it's the game that everybody in the community, the school, that's the game they talk about. That's the game they circle. Whether they come to the game or not, they're going to watch it. They're going to keep updated on it. And that's the game that they uh, they care about, number one. So, I mean, it would be nice on our end that we need to get, a, get them a win, too. I mean, as much as we want one, we got to get the community a Bowling Green one, too. Two and a half, two and a half months ago, First game of the season, you lose your quarterback. Now, we know how it's worked out since, but if you go back to the day when you found that out, um, how big of a blow was that? And was it less of a blow because it was so early? Uh, I mean, James has done a great job, as you were saying. We know we can tell that. But, uh, I mean, it's a blow to lose anybody. Yeah, Matt was a huge part of our uh, – scheme because just like coaches said before uh, he was getting all the reps all the spring well the majority of spring and then all the camp one guy's getting it and then James comes in and he has to he has to pick it up really fast so I mean it it hurt at first but I think James did a great job and is continuing to learn and, and keep building each week and then uh, he's also becoming a leader of the offense question about these selfies. You seem like a pretty serious guy. <laughs> Are you cool with this stuff or what do you think? Uh, I mean, I'm all right with it. Roger always uh, tries to get me to be down in one of them, but I mean, I'm, I'm pretty tired, so I can't make it in time. But I mean, that's what, uh, if that motivates him to get in the end zone more to take a selfie, hey, go ahead. But, yep. Anything else?
Charles Froelich. 